guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Allie, if you haven't been here before, and thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys are all well and safe. Today's video I'm very excited about because the Sephora Spring Sales Event is here. I get so pumped about these Sephora sales. They only happen a few times a year, I think four times total, if I'm not mistaken, but every single time, they come around, I always get so excited and like, I just think and think and think about them for months beforehand. Like, okay, what do I need to stock up on? I start making lists and I just think they're so exciting because obviously Sephora has so many really, really nice brands that you can't get for a discount pretty much throughout the year until these sales events come around. So I wanted to share some of my favorite items so for today's video, I want to share my favorite picks from Sephora that I think are amazing picks for this spring sales event, or just honestly, anytime, any sales event that they have. A lot of these items I'm going to be showing you guys today are a bit pricey. And the absolute only reason I will recommend them is because I am absolutely obsessed with them. And since using them, I'm like, I don't know that I can live without them. I'm obsessed that much. And so I think this is a really, really good time to take advantage of the sale if you are saving up for one of these more pricier items. So just want to put that out there. Before we get started, please make sure you subscribe to my channel if you have not already and hit that notification bell so you're notified every single time I upload. Come follow me on Instagram. I post a lot of fun fashion and beauty and lifestyle stuff on there. As always, all my links to my Poshmark, my outfit details, all that stuff is all below. And if you like this video, please go ahead and make sure to give it a thumbs up and comment down below what you will be picking up during the Sephora sale or give me a suggestion for something that you think I should really try. I always appreciate that. All right, let's just get started with the most expensive thing that I'm going to be recommending today because it is so good. <laughs> this is the Dyson Supersonic blow dryer. You guys, this thing is so expensive. It's actually kind of ridiculous. And for a while here, I was like, ah, I don't need that. It's so expensive. Like, why do I need a blow dryer that costs this much? I'll be honest, my hair suffered quite a bit when I was like full on blonde for many, many years there. And the reason I picked this up is because I was like, I need to try a blow dryer that's a little bit less harsh on my hair because every single time I do wash it, I have to blow dry it. I have to blow it out because my hair is super frizzy naturally and it just looks awful if I don't. So I picked this up to see if it was worth the hype. It most definitely is. I am obsessed with this blow dryer. It comes with three different magnetic attachments, which I think is super cool. I love this like matte black color. I think it's really, really cool. And Brian loves using this blow dryer too. Blow dries my hair so, so fast and the heat doesn't need to be as intense because it is blowing your hair so much faster. It's perfect for giving yourself a blowout. I haven't tried using the diffuser option yet. I kind of want to try that and see like if my curls will actually come to life. But yeah, I love this one so much. I could not recommend it more. And if you've been thinking about purchasing it, now is the time to do it with the spring sales event coming up. So I love this blow dryer. I think it might be a ride or die for life. I love it. All right, let's talk about skincare. If you've been here for a while watching my videos, you know I'm obsessed with Drunk Elephant. So I wanted to give you guys my top three picks from Drunk Elephant that are like legitimate ride or dies for me. I'm obsessed with these three items. First off is the C Firma Day Serum. This is a brightening treatment. I scar very, very easily if I get a pimple Without a doubt, I'm gonna get a scar, which means like a red spot on my face or even a brown spot. I get sunspots from being in the sun. I wish this product was around when I first started scarring because I think I could have avoided so much like laser treatment and all these crazy like facials and stuff I've gotten at the dermatologist because this stuff lightens my dark spots so easily and flawlessly. I will get a pimple now and once it heals up, I'm left with a dark scar and within, I kid you not you guys, within like 30 days or less, 
it's not there anymore and that has never been the case for me in the past i totally totally know it's because of this it's such a great product that i know without a doubt 100 percent it works for me it's so good next up is the drunk elephant tlc framboose glycolic night serum i've talked about this so many times too this is a really really great treatment for a nighttime it exfoliates your skin it gets rid of all the dead skin cells retexturizes refines so you guys i have had not great skin pretty much my entire life starting when i was like 12 13 i started getting pimples my skin was super super oily um even like when i did go through spurts of like having good skin i was just never confident about it i swear until i started using drunk elephant i can't describe it there's just like this glow about my skin i feel like i've never had such like even skin tone since i've been using it and i feel like my skin looks younger now than it did in high school which is absolutely insane i am a hundred million percent a believer in drunk elephant it is so good but yeah i definitely would say fine lines and dullness of my skin all that stuff has definitely dissipated i will never forget the first time i used it the next morning i woke up and i said my skin looks different and that never happens with skincare i swear so i'll stop talking about this i love this stuff and then lastly is the drunk elephant tlc sukari baby facial which is basically this times a million <laughs> um not actually but it's like a way heftier version of this so i only use this once a week and like i said i noticed a difference with this next morning with this i noticed a difference the second it's off my skin like my skin looks baby soft it looks 20 years younger i love this stuff so much it's definitely the best mask that i've ever used not to say that it's the only mask that i ever use there are many many masks that i have in my makeup cabinet that i use time and time again but i will say this one is the one that i noticed the biggest difference with and it's pricey but to me it's worth it and it lasts a very very long time if you're only using it once a week you'll definitely get a lot of use out of this one container so i love this stuff just to finish off with some skincare um i just started using this charlotte's magic cream moisturizer probably in the last few months i'm obsessed this is definitely my favorite moisturizer I've ever used, and it's pricey. It's not something super, super cheap, but it's beautiful. It works so good. I like the way it smells. It's not like a fragrant type smell. It just smells like luxurious skincare. I don't know, but I'm telling you guys, this is the best moisturizer ever. I love this one so much, and I do feel like it's made a difference with hydration for me. My skin is very, very... It's definitely a combination, so I can get super dry, especially during the winter time. I feel like my face just gets a huge drink of water when I use this stuff. It definitely like plumps it up and just makes it so pretty. I love this stuff. So as much as I love that Drunk Elephant Night Serum, I also love this Pharmacy Honeymoon Glow AHA resurfacing a night serum with hydrating honey and gentle flower acids this one you're only supposed to use two to three times a week so i do go back and forth between this one and the drunk elephant one they do very similar things but i do feel like i get results with both of them and i really like using this one as well so i could not recommend this one more too i love it I know I've talked about this before. I love this tinted moisturizer so much. This is the one from Origins. It's the Ginseng SPF 40 Energy Boosting Tinted Moisturizer. I love this moisturizer. I swear it gives me like a filter on my face, tints my skin so I feel a little bit more alive and glowy in that sense. But there's something about it too. It just kind of gives you this like soft focus look. I can't describe it, but it looks so good. I've gotten so many comments on my skin when I've just worn this alone. It's so amazing though. I love using this underneath my makeup and I will use it on its own too on no makeup days when I'm going out of the house. And then lastly, you guys are going to laugh at me when you see... <laughs> how busted this cap is this is the bobby brown vitamin enriched face base it's an all-in-one primer and a moisturizer so i use this every time i put on makeup before obviously 
foundation goes on and I feel like it just gives me this kind of smooth canvas to apply makeup on. I find it way easier to apply my foundation on a very very hydrated smooth skin versus if my skin is a little bit more dry. It makes my skin look hydrated and I feel like my makeup lasts a lot longer so I really really like this one. Again, it's another hefty product, but I do think it's definitely worth it. Let's move on to some makeup. Technically, this isn't makeup, but I only use it if I'm putting makeup on. This is the Tatcha The Silk Canvas Primer. I love this stuff. I've been using it for years, and I usually pick it up during sales events, but honestly, it lasts me a very, very long time. So it's definitely not something that you're gonna need to be buying like four or five times a year unless you use a lot of it. I don't use that much of it every time I use it, but this primer is by far my favorite one for smoothing out my skin and making my pores disappear. My skin just looks so much smoother and definitely an easier canvas to put foundation and concealer on, so I love this primer. Mm, I love this primer. I didn't think I was ever going to love a concealer more than I love Tarte Shape Tape. This I think is pretty much there with it, if not even a little bit more. I go back and forth. I'm like, do I like this one more? Do I like the Tarte Shape Tape more? Right now, I'm definitely on this one. So this is the Benefit Boeing Cakeless Concealer. Cutest packaging ever. It looks like a little eraser top. This is such a good concealer. I absolutely love it. I feel like the color payoff is amazing. It definitely covers my dark circles like as much as we can. I have very dark circles, um, but it has very, very high coverage. And I do feel like out of all the concealers I've ever used, this one is really actually creaseless. Like I barely get any creasing. I do have some lines there. So a lot of other concealers I have a very hard time with creasing, but this one doesn't really crease on me at all, even before I set it, which is so Oh, I have an inch. So nice, obviously. I really, really like this concealer and I definitely will be repurchasing it. Let's talk about lips. My absolute favorite lipstick in the whole wide world. I know I've talked about it before. It is the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. It's what I'm wearing on my lips today. It's so freaking pretty. Oh. And I love the way it smells. It smells so good. It's honestly the perfect like nudie pink for pretty much everybody. Charlotte Tilbury actually came out with a whole Pillow Talk line this year that I absolutely love. So they do have some more intense shades now. Wears very, very nicely, super comfortable on the lips and just all together an amazing lipstick. And I'm not usually a lipstick person, I'll be honest, but this has made me a believer. I love this one. Another lip product I've been loving is the Dior Lip Maximizer Hyaluronic Lip Plumper. I will say I don't feel like it plumps my lips that much, but I do love this gloss. I think it is so pretty. I'll just put it on. It's so pretty. I love the like minty kind of flavor it has to the gloss. Wears really nicely. Obviously it's a gloss, so it's not gonna stay on all day, but it's super comfortable on the lips. It gives you a beautiful, like very, very subtle sheen. It's not, you can definitely like build it up and it's a little bit more glossy. Let me just do that. I just think it's so pretty. This is the color Rosewood. It is the only color I actually have and I don't feel like I need another color. I think it's such a pretty nude. Wears very, very gorgeous on its own too, but I really, really like this lip combo with the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk and the Dior Lip Maximizer and Rosewood. So I've had eyelash extensions for, I think three years now, if not more, I think three years and Obviously, with what's happening in the world, huge first of all problem, not a big deal at all. But I don't have eyelash extensions anymore, which is very, very sad to me. But I've also had fun playing with false lashes and mascara again, and eyeliner, throwing things. So when I started losing them, I was like, I feel like I need something. Let's try eyeliner again. And I was so intimidated, like trying to do like the whole cat eye thing again. But I actually picked up this Charlotte Tilbury, the feline flick. They sent this to me, I don't know how long ago, but I still had lash extensions at that time. And I was like, oh, I'll try that one day. So once my lash extensions were pretty much non existent, I was like, okay, let's try this now. I love it. I have never had such an easy time applying winged liner ever. Like it's 
so impressive. I used to love the Stila, I don't remember what it's called. Same idea, the pen situation. Um, I loved that one back in the day, but I feel like the pointed brush was a little too flimsy. This is the perfect weight and it is so black. You guys can see I have winged liner on today. It's so easy with this stuff. I love it so much. I think it's so fun playing with winged eyeliner again. And this product has definitely made my life so much easier. Stays on all day does not move until I take it off at night. I love it. And lastly for makeup, I wanted to show you guys the Becca Under Eye Brightening Corrector. This is the shade Light to Medium. Like I mentioned earlier, my dark circles are no joke. This has made my life so much easier. I apply it with a beauty blender after foundation before I put my concealer on and it really, really helps. Who is making noise out there. And it really, really helps cover those under eye circles before going with concealer. So I love this stuff. It's super creamy lasts me a really long time too. I love it. Last couple products are hair products. I don't know why I didn't just do all my hair stuff at the beginning, but here we are. So first off, this is the GHD straightener. It's really expensive. Like I know you can go buy a straightener for like 15 bucks and it works great. Obviously that's good and great. Do that if that's what you want to do. But if you would like to invest <laughs> in a very, very nice strainer that I can absolutely tell the difference between this one and not this one. <laughs> this one's amazing. It heats up literally in like five seconds. I don't understand how it works. It heats up so quickly. I do love that it shuts off automatically too. I don't feel worried that I didn't unplug it or something. It works amazing. Like I mentioned earlier, my hair is very, very frizzy and it definitely tames it down. It's made styling so much easier just with how quickly it heats up and the heat that it uses because my hair is super frizzy and it does actually take a lot to straighten it. So I love this straightener. Again, it's kind of stupidly expensive, but if you're looking for a good straightener and you wanna get it on sale, do it now. Lastly is the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day Body Builder. I've talked about this before. This is by far my favorite texture spray. I really, really enjoy this one. I use it for many, many different hairstyles. I can use it when my hair is curly, when my hair is straight, honestly anything. Throw it up in a ponytail or a, a bun and it looks really, really nice. This is definitely what gives me that body texture and kind of grit that I'm looking for. I've repurchased it at least twice. It's such a good product. I really, really love it. And that's it, you guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and that it was somewhat helpful if you are planning on shopping during the sales event. I will be sure to link everything down below. Oh my gosh, something I forgot to talk about. I should go get it, but I don't really want to. I'll put a picture of it here. Olaplex number three, a favorite of mine saved my hair when I was blonde and still to this day saves my hair. That product is magical. It's so magical. If you have a very, very damaged hair or even if you just need like a boost on your hair and you want it to come back to life, Olaplex number three is your go-to. I sleep in it or I will put it in my hair in the morning and wait until night to shower. It's amazing. It will change your hair forever. I love Olaplex number three. And it's coming in a bigger size now. I just saw that in Sephora. So that is definitely something I'll be picking up during the Sephora sale. There is a Laura Mercier uh, mascara that I saw online that I really, really wanna pick up too. I'm definitely gonna have to do some digging. I love it when this time comes around and I can just like search out new products. So again, if you guys have anything that you would suggest to me to buy right now, let me know. I appreciate you guys. <laughs> I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Stay in, stay safe, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!